be in control of your brake system. The brake disc thickness check was the subject of a previous video. This video shows how to check the disc and the hub run out. Too much run out can cause braking vibrations felt through the brake pedal or the steering wheel. Apply the hand brake and loosen of a half turn the wheel bolts. Jack up the front and remove the wheel bolts. Remove the wheel. Secure the disc to the wheel hub by two bolts. Use a dial gauge to measure the disc run out on the braking. On off button. Millimeters inch button. Reset button. The dial gauge is fixed on a magnetic base. Fix the dial gauge to the suspension bracket. The disc run out is measured to one centimeter from the edge. To facilitate the measurement, reset the dial gauge on the minimum value. The run out at the end of one rotation must not exceed the manufacturer's specifications. If you do not know the manufacturer's specifications, take an average value of 0.10 mm. But for precise control, it is always better to take the original value of the vehicle. If the disc run out is within tolerance, the control stops here. If the run out is out of tolerance, as here, look for the cause. A seized caliper piston can cause overheating and distortion of the disc. Make sure the piston brake caliper is not seized up. Rust or deposits between the surface of the wheel hub and the disc can be responsible of the run out. Remove the disc in order to clean the hub contact surface. Remove the two wheel bolts. Remove the retaining clip of the pads. Unscrew the two screws of the brake caliper. Remove the brake caliper and the pads. Suspend the caliper to prevent it from hanging from the flexible duct.
Remove the caliper support. Remove the brake disc. Clean the surface of the disc that comes into contact with the hub. Clean the hub contact surface. Measure the run out again. The runout still remains out of tolerance. Try to refit the disc in another position. Shift 180 degrees and measure the runout again. If runout still remains out of tolerance regardless of its position, check the hub runout before replacing the discs. Hub distortion check. The hub runout is measured at its outer diameter. Compare the runout at the end of one rotation with the manufacturer's specifications. If you do not know the manufacturer's specifications, you can take an average value of 0.05 mm, because the value measured for the disc is about two times that measured at the outer diameter of the hub. If the hub runout is within tolerance, the disc is indeed defective. Replace both discs on the same axle as well as the pads. If the hub runout is out of tolerance, like here, replace the hub as well as the bearing. Refit the brake disc. Coat the bolts with thread locker and refit the caliper support. Refit the pads and the brake caliper.
Refit the retaining clip.